What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the brand new FIFA 23 Liverpool Carrier Mode Show episode and we play Atalanta in the Champions League home and away, back to back in the group stage so these are two really really crucial games and comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen thank you so much for your awesome support and uh, let's get this video to 100 likes and I will try to upload daily this week and also check out my FIFA 23 gameplay channel Channel and my other channel where we upload the FIFA 22 tournament against my friends which is a lot of fun really funny gameplay videos. Atalanta have an all-round pretty solid side but they don't have an outstanding world-class player and their goalkeeper is only 78 rated so we must win this. Welcome to Bergamo the Atalanta Liverpool game is really really important in the Champions League group stage let's win this. Konate Oh, Robertson, brilliant tackle. Declan Rice to Diogo Jota. Oh, Ryan catches it. Otavio. Oh, Gibbs White. Yes, Van Dijk, love that. And Darwin Nunez. Please. Darwin Nunez is in. Has to finish it! Yes! Darwin Nunez! Brilliant counter-attack! And one of you guys commented that Darwin Nunez won't have his game face updated in this carrier mode because once you start the carrier mode, the game faces don't update. Which is really weird because the stadiums do update. If EA had a new stadium, like they added Ellen Road, the stadium of Leeds United last season, they updated it while the carrier mode was already running. So why can't they update game faces? That really disappoints me because now we are stuck with Darwin Nunez's like stock uh, face and not his scanned game face. Salah Bellingham Bellingham! Oh, what a goal! Choose Bellingham straight away. We score back to back goals and we really take control of this game. This is a lovely through ball by Jota and before the defender could get to me I thought let's have a shot with Bellingham who is one of our top scorers this season. Fabinho, nice. Salah. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh Jota! Jota is in! Can he finish? And is a proper fantastic goal and we do a somersault what a brilliant goal we had like three attackers on the goalkeeper but i thought let's try a spectacular and bellingham does a bicycle kick even though i know it's an open goal but that is still a spectacular goal love that oh no Oh no, come on, Alisson, great save. That's a brilliant save. So making the substitution now. Playing it in. Go on, Declan Rice, nice. Scalvini, Gibbs White. Oh no! Oh, come on, that's... Oh, that is a really undefendable goal. It's a really good finish, but they passed it across goal, and before I could react, they smashed it home. I mean, I had so many players around the Atalanta attackers, but still, I couldn't do anything, really. Oh, Bellingham to Harvey Elliott. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertainment. Carvalho! Oh, block then hurry Elliot over the bar up to this point no too easy to defend against no we're looking to put the ball to good use here oh come on it's three two what on earth is going on Morgan Gibbs white gets another go back for Atalanta and if we are not careful we could throw away a free goal lead another pass across goal and Guardiola and Trent runs into each other and then what is that Robertson tries a dolphin dive instead of clearing the ball he completely misses it Alexander Arnold 
Go on. Adam Hunt has to finish it. Yes! Adam Hunt, the grandson of Roger Hunt, makes it 4 2 and hopefully he seals the victory. I brought on RV Elliott, Fabio Carvalho, and Adam Hunt uh, just to try and give them minutes. And that's a great pass by RV Elliott and a good finish. No. Guardiola. Come on, Alisson. Oh, go on. Carvalho. Carvalho, he has fresh legs. Go on, Carvalho. Chip the keeper. Oh, what a goal! Fabio Carvalho. Oh, that was absolutely magical. He chips the keeper into the top corner. Oh, this was lovely. And Fabio Carvalho's pace and finishing ability is just fantastic. What a game Bellingham had. Four shots, two goals. And what a game this was. Absolutely brilliant performance after a little bit of a scare in the second half though. And we completely outplayed and dominated Atalanta. We really, I think, uh, are good for a 5-2 scoreline. We had more shots, more shots on target. And of course it was Jude Bellingham who was the man of the match. But Jota got a hat-trick of assists. Nice! And this bicycle kick goal is just lovely I love that Leipzig smashed Ajax Athens 4-1 so if we beat Atalanta at Anfield as well then we are through and it will be between us and Leipzig who finishes top of the group so even goals scored could be important at the end Man United and Marseille are in pole position to finish uh, first and second but Hoffenheim can still qualify I think uh, Dinamo Kiev are not strong enough Juventus and Bayern should go through and Tottenham are strong struggling in this group they lost their first two games but then they finally beat uh, Sporting and this group is going to go down to the wire I mean Michelin are pretty much out of it but all the other sides can go through and Roma and Barcelona will go through probably from this one and PSG and Sevilla are in good position especially PSG Atletico are only in third place but they are level on points with Bruges they Bruges beat Atletico that's a big surprise against the smaller teams I I will play with three minute halves to make the games more challenging and also the score lines that we are having the 5-2, 4-3 score lines a little bit too unrealistic Guardiola, Koba and Ugarte comes into the side but I'm still playing my very strong team Welcome to the Vitality Stadium Liverpool lost here 1-0 in a terrible lackluster performance so let's uh, get revenge on Bournemouth in FIFA at least Oh my goodness, no way! Bournemouth take the lead! What a shock start! And it's the Turkish left winger who completely bamboozles my defense and he smashes it home. Really tried here with Guardiola and he does a Ronaldo chop inside. Robertson. Well shown inside. And that's not a foul? Are you a ridiculous game? No! And Katia, he scores from 25 yards! And it's 2 0. Bournemouth had two attacks, two shots. And Bournemouth are in mid table for a reason. They have a solid defense, and it looks like they have good goal scoring attackers as well. The Rice. Yes, it was a penalty for Leeds. And. Jota! Bang! Yes! Diogo Jota! It's 2-1! We are right back in this! Just after half time! Come on guys! We really needed a quick goal just at the start of the second half and Jota finishes it clinically. Come on Ugarte! Kobo! Wow! Benningham! Come on Benningham! Don't, don't you dare! Yes Kobo! Darwin Nunez! And Bellingham! Why did he take a touch? Oh no. And Katia, how? Okay, offside. Go on, Salah. Mo Salah. Two! And the hands! What an equalizer in the 18th minute! 
it! Where are the crazy celebrations? But I will do a crazy celebration. What a substitution! And Mount came on for the injured Jude Bellingham. And Mo Salah finds him perfect finish into the top corner. This is really the breakthrough season for Adam Hunt. This is a really, really big point in our season because we were 2-0 down and pretty much out of the game after half time. But we came roaring back and equalized through a brilliant Adam Hunt goal in the 87th minute. And I think we should have won this game considering how weak Bournemouth are. But they are improving and first half they were the better team, second half we were the better team. So maybe a draw is a fair result. And Mo Salah got two assists this time and Adam Hunt scored a big, very important goal. Thankfully Bellingham's injury is only a minor one. The games will be a lot more challenging on three minute halves, I have a feeling. And Tottenham are now one point behind us because they beat Fulham 5-0. Arsenal beat Man United 3-1, so that's a big win for Arsenal. But Chelsea drew and Man City didn't beat West Ham. That's perfect result for us. We absolutely have to beat Luton Town. This is already the last 16 of the League Cup, so we could get into the quarterfinals with a victory here. I'm playing my full second team, but this should be good enough to beat them. Welcome to the Luton Liverpool League Cup last 16 match. Let's go. Kobo! Kobo, Kobo, what the oh hell? Oh my goodness, why didn't you grab the ball, Kobo? He has teammates around him. Adam Hunt, brilliant touch! And it's a great finish! Adam Hunt keeps on scoring goals. That's his third goal in three games. I apologize for the construction noises. At uh, the next apartment, they are doing some drilling, which is really doing my head in. It's really annoying, and it's even more difficult to play FIFA on ultimate difficulty. But I will soldier on, and I still want to give you guys an entertaining episode. Because when they win it in deep areas, no! Oh, Guardiola! Oh, Gomez! What? Why don't you clear the ball, you absolute moron? I smashed the ball with Adam Hunt into the defender or the attacker and Gomez, instead of clearing the ball, slides in and he's miles away from the ball. No. Kobo! Nice. Jones. Go on. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would be ahead. Hunt. Curtis Jones! Well, what to say? Let's go, Carvalho. Fabio Carvalho! Yes! Let's go! This goalkeeper is really poor, and Fabio Carvalho makes it 2 1 Liverpool. He also scored already in this episode. Lovely heel to heel flick, and then a great finish. It wasn't the most spectacular performance, but it is still an important win because we are through to the League Cup quarterfinals. And there weren't that many chances in this game, but I think we should win against Luton Town. I mean, the second half we pretty much dominated them. The first half, though, they had some chances, and even though Adam Hunt got a goal and an assist, it was Woodrow who was the man of the match. Arsenal almost went out, but they won on penalties against Bristol City. Wolves, Leeds United are through, and Man United are out. Brilliant. And I want to get Queen's Park Rangers. They are probably the weakest team in the competition, but we get Arsenal. It was inevitable that sooner or later we would get a big team in the League Cup. That will be a great quarterfinal. Now, this next game against Nottingham Forest will be really tough. Look at their defense. A five at the back for also pretty solid midfield and attack. So that no wonder Nottingham Forest have been staying up in the Premier League regularly since they got promoted. Well they say opposites attract today, they clash. One team, the freest scoring side in the division, the other, the best defensive team in the league. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Oh, the fan on the Torres Tifo is out. I absolutely love that. That looks brilliant. He was one of my favorite strikers to ever play for Liverpool. Oh, this Tifo looks fabulous. Oh, go on. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback. And Bellingham chips the keeper, but it's a little bit too powerful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Borna Sosa is in. Getting forward. And Van Dijk, great clearance. Go on, Salah. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with 29 
Mo Salah. Two. Yes. Let's go. No. Oh my goodness. No way. That's upside. Nunez, why didn't you hold your line? Ah, oh, that what he wasn't behind the ball. I think that's level. Well, there Robertson. you have it. Have controlled most of the possession, but unless they start passing it with more penetration... Oh, Nunez! Darwin! Nunez! Let's go! It's 1-0 Liverpool this time! That is not offside! And Darwin Nunez breaks down this really deep low block Nottingham defense. This is a really brilliant first time pass by Bellingham. Nunez takes it, good touch and a shot goal. No. Limer, Jimenez, Guardiola. Oh, that is brilliant defending by Guardiola. Salah. And Salah is in, I think. Brilliant! Nunez! Nunez! And Bernardovi saves it. No! Kobo, that's a piece of cake for him. Ball played nicely. Well, oh no, Gusto, the right back. It's a good cross! Why on earth would you head it to the opposition player? Let's go, Salah. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Go on, Adam Hunt. Salah! Oh, saved! I think playing with three minute halves against the smaller sides really makes it a proper challenge to beat them and especially against Nottingham Forest. They have the best defense in the league, they kept it tight but we managed to win it. And we also restricted Nottingham to very few chances and overall I think we dominated especially in the first half. They only had one shot on target thankfully and Darwin Nunez was the man of the match. His goal was nice. Man United smashed Southampton 5-0, Chelsea won but also Arsenal, Man City and Tottenham both like all three of them drew their games so we took full advantage. Now we are two points ahead of Chelsea. The league table is very very tight and Bournemouth after getting a draw against us they beat Crystal Palace. So Bournemouth are in the top half of the table and they will have no problems uh, staying up just like Nottingham Forest. At the moment Southampton are caught adrift but Burnley and Crystal Palace also can be worried. Jota and Nunez are head to head in the top scorers charts with eight goals each. Bellingham has six, Adam Hunt has five and he scored three goals in this episode. What a player he's turning out to be and he's only 20 years old. Salah has four, Carvalho has four, Curtis Jones has four as well. Haaland is still the top scorer, Foden is second, but as long as we are winning our games and grinding out results, I'm not too bothered, but Jota can still catch them. Jota has seven, Nunez has six goals, and Salah, Bellingham and Jota are leading the assist chart. Absolutely brilliant. And now Kobo finally kept two clean sheets in seven games. So that's promising. The next episode will be a banger. We will play Atalanta and also Leipzig in the Champions League and Newcastle at uh, St. James's Park. It's always a challenging game. And I'm also going to the Hungary-Estonia game today. That's a friendly game in the Pushkash Arena. So that's why this episode is a little bit shorter than usual but i still hope that you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching have a nice day see you later guys Goodbye.